Welcome to a brand new video. This is a video on requests. It's a video on quadratic equations with the use of the quadratic the formula. And a quadratic fa uh, form fa fa wow, that was so bad, dude. So, what is a quadratic equation in general? Well, that is ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. So whenever you have a quadratic equation, it's usually equal to zero. And you can actually derive the quadratic formula using this. How cool is that? I may, I may derive it for you in another video, but for now, that's a little too complex. I'll just teach the basic stuff. So basically, what is the quadratic formula? Well, that is x is equal to negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c all over 2a. Now, when I first saw this formula, I was so intrigued by it because it was the longest formula for starters that I'd ever seen in my life. And secondly, I thought that it was witchcraft because I was like, why is there a plus and minus? And this is really complicated, but it's not, dude. It's not. And that's why it's, it, it's actually the coolest thing ever because it makes life so easy. So, suppose I have a quadratic equation that's x squared plus x minus 12 is equal to zero. Now, there are three ways to solve quadratic equations. You can either complete the square, you can factor, or you can use the quadratic, uh, quadratic formula. And the quadratic formula always works. You can't always factor. When you, if you can't always factor, you can factor this one, and I won't show it in this video, I'll, I'll show you how to factor in other videos, but factoring is pretty easy. Um, but completing the square is a little more trickier. But in this video, we'll just focus on quadratic formula. So I'll stop talking about other stuff that's irrelevant. So, how can I use the quadratic formula? How do I use it? So, this is how you do it. You say that x is equal to negative b. Well, there's a 1 here multiplied by x. And there's a 1 here multiplied by x squared. So, negative b, that's negative 1 plus or minus the square root of b squared, well that's 1 squared, minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, and c is negative 12, divided by 2a, and a is 1, so 2 times 1. So you just substitute wherever the letters are. So whenever you see a 1, this is your a, this is your b, this is your c. So a, B, and C. That's what you should do. If you're new to this, just do that. So, what do you do next? Well, you keep simplifying. You say that X is equal to negative 1 plus or minus the square root of 1 minus 4 times minus 12. Well, minus 4 times minus 12 is 48. 4 12s are 48. So 1 plus 48, well that's the square root of 49 over 2. Because 2 times 1 is 2. So now that x is equal to negative 1 plus or minus, what's the square root of 49? Well that's 7 all over 2. So now we can say that the positive value of x, so I'll, I'm going to write x subscript at plus is equal to negative 1 plus 7 over 2 and that means that x plus is equal to negative 1 plus 7 is 6 divided by 2 and 6 divided by 2 is 3 or x can be x negative x subscript negative and at that means that x is equal to negative 1 minus 7 over 2 which is just equal to um, negative 8 divided by 2, which is just equal to, well, 4, negative 4 times 2 is minus 8. So this is minus 4. So these are your two roots. So x is equal to 3, x is equal to minus 4. So those are your two solutions for the quadratic equation. Thanks for watching, and uh, yeah. More videos coming. I'm actually making a playlist right now as we speak on high school math level videos. That's what I'm doing right now, and that's why I'm making videos on quadratic equations. See you later.